Oh, what's up everyone this is Asad and today I'm gonna show you how you can make this type of uh, navigation menu for your website so I'll be using HTML5 CSS3 and bootstrap icons so let's get started uh, I'm, I'm using sublime text editor 3 I have to create my first file and I have to save this file inside some directory inside some directory and the directory name will be circular nav and the file name is going to be index.html I need another file uh, this is going to be my CSS file and I would like to put my CSS file inside public then another directory that would be CSS directory and this will be containing my style sheet okay so on index.html I have to generate my markup for this I have to write uh, HTML tab and the HTML is ready line number four I have to write corrector encoding which is uh, UTF-8 it is uh, mandatory for your HTML pages and I have to link my external style sheet which is inside public CSS and the style sheet name is style.css okay so since I have to use the bootstrap icons so it's time to include the bootstrap CDN links there are two methods either you can download the bootstrap and you can include those files or you can use the CDN links so I would like to use the CDN links for this particular tutorial bootstrap official website and get started so these are the CDN links I need this CSS link and this JavaScript link it's good practice to include your uh, JavaScript file at the end of your page just uh, just before the closing body tag okay so for the navigation part uh, this is my wrapper which is nav and the nav will be containing an unordered list ally anchor tag and span tag Paste, 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 and one more time. Paste. Perfect. So, as usual, I would like to use uh, Mozilla Firefox developer tools. So, let's open this file in the browser. File has been opened. So I have to open this file in Mozilla Firefox. So right click, inspect elements, and here's my style editor. And this is uh, st this is my style sheet, style.css. As you as you notice, uh, bootstrap.min.css it has already been included because I'm using the CDN links, the external links. I think I should pop it out. Now it looks perfect. And I'll, I also should increase the font size. Alright, so, so the first thing is I have to target the nav nav element and I have to give it some width and height. The width is 350 pixels and the height height is also 350 pixels and 
border is solid. I would like to put uh, my nav in the center of my page. For this, I have to use margin 100 pixels from the top and bottom, and auto from auto from uh, left and right, just to put my nav box in the center of the page. So now I have to remove this uh, these uh, dots. I have to write nav and the image child which is uh, ul list list style none I misspelled that ul ally I should use positioning as well. Position relative. I gave it position relative because I would like to put uh, my I would like to position my list items relative to my container, which is nav. Position absolute uh, width is eighty pixels and height is also eighty pixels and the border is uh, let me choose a color. I think my internet is down. Now it's working. Uh, I like this color. It will look uh, good with the black combination. So I have to open up uh, my style editor and give it some border. Perfect. I also have to remove the padding from UL padding zero. Now it looks better. So now it's time to position my list items. I'm running up with room. I think I could do it do it this way. All right. Okay, so now I, ha I have to target the first uh, list tag, which is nav, ul, ally, and pseudo selector, which is uh, n child, and I have to target the first ally element. Left to zero. Uh, I made a mistake somewhere. Actually, here it is. Copy. And paste.
Yeah, I made a mistake somewhere. Uh, the width is 350 pixels, border solid, margin is 100 pixels auto, and UL. Uh, let me give it some border just to make sure where it is located right now. Okay, so the width is 350 pixels. And the height is 350 pixels, this well done. And position is uh, relative. Uh, I misspelled that. I misspelled that. It would be relative. Nice perfect. And the top should be zero also. So the next child will it will be right zero and top zero. The third child would be at bottom left corner. Bottom and I'll write bottom instead of top. Now I have to target the fourth list element and four. This time it will be uh, the zero would be from right and zero would be from the bottom. Perfect. So now I have to target the fifth uh, list item. And uh, which would be actually, I would like to use left and top over here. The fifth list element is this one, the home circle. So now I have to put uh, this home circle in the center of my box. Got a solid. There it is. And top should be. 175 pixels actually not 175 but 125 pixels or 135 pixels 135 looks perfect so 135 pixels from the top and 135 pixels from the left and let me increase it, uh, its width and height. Height is going to be 110 pixels. Width is going to be 110 pixels. So now I have to make the adjustment. So once again, this time I think it should be 115 pixels from the left and 115 pixels from the top. Now it's exactly in the center of my box. So now it's time to put the uh, icons in the respective uh, list items. I have to use the bootstrap class which is class 
glyph icon glyph icon and form the next one is user one is film or whatever what one is loud and first one is envelope let's uh, check this out in, uh, in our browser if I refresh the page so here are here are icons okay so now i have to target the anchor tags Display block. Uh, width is going to be 80 pixels, and height is going to be 80 pixels as well. Color is going to be black text align center I have to increase the font size the font size should be 30 pixels and line height 3 Uh, the three doesn't look good. How about two? Uh, two point five or six? Okay, two point six looks perfect. So now I have to target uh, this home icon individually. I have to fix anchor active I just have to remove the outline okay and text decoration none If I hover over my anchor tags, the icons should uh, stay black. Now it looks perfect. Okay, so now I have to adjust uh, my home icon. So it had the bit. Just 
actually I should I should target uh, this uh, bigger box using its class. So this was life icon and form. Five pixels, one of four pixels. And line height is going to be three or three point five. Three point two looks perfect. I have to increase its size as well, the icon size. Font size is to 30 pixels, not 30 but 40 pixels. 40 looks uh, better. Now everything uh, looks perfect. I need this orange color because uh, I would like to apply this color to uh, my home icon. Actually it won't be the color of my home icon but it would be the uh, it would be the, uh, it would be the color of my home icon. Color orange and background color is going to be black. I have to remove this border now. And height and width should be 110 pixels. I think I should remove the border over here. Yeah, this is uh, what I wanted. So let's uh, give it give it some uh, border radius. Border radius is uh, now about fifty percent. Fifty percent uh, looks fine. I perfectly vertically aligned my home icon now. Let's uh, move to the other list items, the other icons. Border radius. Fifty percent. Twenty-eight. Now let's go back and remove this border and use it as a background color. So far so good. So now I have to rotate this uh, container uh, which is nav.
I have to add up some room because uh, I would I would I have to write some prefixes as well the browser prefixes uh, since I'm gonna use the transform property transform rotate uh, it would be 45 degree have to write down the prefixes first one is most the second one is uh, what get the third one is o for opera perfect i have to copy these uh, properties Because uh, I would like to position my icons. They should be rotated minus 45 degree. Minus 45, minus 45, and minus 45. So now everything looks fine. It's time to remove this border and uh, we are done. So this is it for this uh, tutorial and hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Alright then, take care. Bye-bye.